Hello gamers, my name is Shintox and today I'm going to show you how to make a nice looking Twitch overlay like this one for free because who has money really? So for this particular tutorial I'm going to use OBS, the multi-platform version and uh, yeah because it's free. I'll set up all the links for everything that you need below. Uh, I will say right now that I am not going to go into <clears throat> specific details about uh, the OBS settings. I'm just going to go over the visual presentation. I will go over the specific settings that I have and my particular setup in another video. So, uh, first things first, what you want to do is obviously get OBS. Uh, once you have that installed, go and find a screenshot of the game that you like. For me, it's going to be Rocket League. I'm going to use this screenshot that's back here in particular. So, then run over to this website here, pixlr.com slash editor. It's like a free version of, um, like a cheap version of Photoshop. And cheap, I mean free. I don't have to pay anything. Uh, and open that screenshot. <coughs> now, this is going to make sure it's a 1980. Is it 1920? Yeah, 1920 by 1080 um, image. And so this is going to be your background and, and overlay. So first thing you're going to do is select the selection tool. Uh, go to fixed size up here and change the width to, uh, what is it, 1280? Yeah, 1280, I think. Yeah, 1280 by 720 <clears throat> because you're going to display your game in 720p and kind of put it wherever you want the game to sit uh, it's it's totally up to you but for my setup and my purposes i'm going to put it here uh, make sure you unlock the background here so it doesn't just give you a white screen you want it to be transparent so you hit delete now you have a nice little spot for your game now you want something for your webcam or something else then you're going to do the same thing. Uh, for me, I use 480 by 380, uh, which gives me a nice little box here, which I can sit up in the top corner. Just put it right about there, hit delete. And now that's, that's pretty much it for that, but I will add a layer style just because, you know, bevel makes it look kind of pretty. Maybe a little outer glow. Maybe change that outer glow to the same color as the car, just for giggles. All right, now I have a basic overlay. So we are going to save that image as a PNG so the transparency stays. I'm just going to set that on my desktop as well. Okay. Now, you can add however you want. You can add a little, you know, the Rocket League logo up in the corner or um, the publisher's thing down in the bottom right, kind of like I did. But that's it's, it's completely optional. It's totally up to you. Now that that's done, uh, what else do we need? Okay, so now we shrink this and go to streampro.io. And this is, like, an amazing tool. I don't know how this is free but it is at least for now so use the hell out of it because it's awesome so uh, connect it to your twitch and then you're gonna get like overlays and stuff you can create a new overlay let's name it rocket league 2 i spelled league wrong l-e-a-g-u-e i -E. uh, chose the size 1920 by 1080 create the overlay so this is going to be your, um, this is where all the, the fancy stuff is, like uh, the Twitch chat comes in, the scrolling text, all of that. So first thing you're going to do is insert an image, and you're going to insert that image that you just made right on top of it, and kind of move it into position here. So we're actually going to remove this later, but... It's for purposes for positioning your text and stuff so everything goes where you need it to go. So then you're going to go to widgets. There are pre-created ones, and uh, you can use those as a base if you don't want to make your own, but I like to do my own stuff. 
So for me, I need Twitch chat. So I'm going to turn that on. I'm going to go to top donation and I'm going to put in donation alerts. Every time somebody makes a donation, it's going to make a sound. Uh, let's see what else. Current viewers. Yeah, actually, you know what? Add that in there. And latest follower and the follower alert. Follower goal, follower train, fo follower alert. There it is. Now you can add, like I said, there's tons of different you know, widgets that you can use, but I'm going to use these ones for now. Go back to the editor, and now they're kind of all been slammed up in that corner there. So I'm going to move stuff around so that I can see where everything is. Okay, so this is the Twitch chat, so I'm going to put that here. And where's the button? Oh, it's way down there. Okay. So I can't really see that, so I'm going to change it to, let's say, dark. No? How about this one? No. Dark. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. Now I can see it. Now I'm going to adjust it so it just sits there nice and pretty. And that one doesn't seem the boxes show funny on this theme, so I'm just going to go back to dark. And then they'll, everything will show up there fine. So follower alerts. Where am I going to put those? Right under the chat. Sure. Uh, so it's going to display for six seconds. You can test your widget. It's going to make this sound. Or no sound at all because you need to add a sound because you go to a public gallery. And you can pick a sound from here. So, Oh, that's loud. All right. So let's do... There we go. Insert. Now you can test that. Uh... Boom. He's now following. So you can go ahead and adjust that so it comes out fine. Latest follower, I'm going to put that down here and stretch it out a little bit so they can see it. Now the latest and the top donation stuff is going to be shown all of the time, whereas the um, the now following and you know the alerts will show kind of whenever. Same thing with donations, all that kind of stuff. Current viewers, I'm going to put that up here so I can see it. And yes, I believe that's about it for this. That's all you kind of need. So once that's all done, you save and exit. Rocket League 2, uh, you're going to, you can launch it. And then it's going to give you this URL. Now this URL is very important. Keep that URL in mind. One thing I did forget to do is go back into, once everything is positioned, all your widgets are positioned, delete your background. So remove that image so it looks like that. Um, I'll show you why in, in a moment. So save changes and exit. You have that right here. Um, now head over to OBS. So, create a new scene, scene two. Okay, let's make this bigger. <clears throat> All right, sources. First thing you're gonna add, you are going to add a image. So we'll call it image three. So overlay instead. Name is already in use. Overlay two four la la la. Okay, find that overlay that you just made. So for me, it's on the desktop. This one here, boom. Okay, so now you have a nice little overlay. You're also going to add your video capture device. Put that there. Now it's not finding it because I'm using it right now, but that's okay. We'll get to it in a minute. Uh, transform, edit transform. Yeah, it's not showing up, but I'll show it up later. <clears throat> so, and then we're going to go to add browser source. Now, the browser source is what's going to show that um, that nice little overlay that you've got. So, browser source, okay. URL, so right now, by default, it's going to show this one up. Go here. Now, this can be a little bit buggy, so 
URL is going to, you're going to post, that's not the one that I want. You're going to post the URL of your stream pro in there. So boop, there we go. Now just back up, give it a minute, let it kind of do its thing. Uh, set your width to the same, so 1920 by 1080. It is a little bit buggy, so just kind of give it a minute to load if, if, if you need be. I stream at 60 FPS, so I'm going to set it to 60 FPS, and I'm going to hit OK. Now, if I notice, it is not, something's not right. What is it? It's my overlay. Yeah, so... For some reason, it saved that little scroll bar on the side, which is weird. So I'm just going to expand it out a little bit until it's kind of where I want it. There we go. Yeah. There we go. So that's kind of where I want it there. You can always go back and edit uh, your stream.io uh, overlay live. So you just go in there and change it, and it'll just automatically change to whatever you set it to. All right, and then you're going to add a game capture. And let's pick Rocket League, for example. And match window property for scaling. So you're going to scale, you're going to backscale this to 1280 by 720. Okay. I'm just going to open up Rocket League real quick so it'll see it and shrink it again. Now. And then you're going to kind of move it around so it's positioned properly. So the overlay needs to be in front of everything except your browser source. Your browser source will go in front of everything so it goes over top of the overlay now because it's not working in this one it's because i have you know this one open over here so this is a good example how i'll, how I'll use this so the browser source for example that's my overlay my image is my background my video capture device is me right here which i can disappear and my game capture is of course here now if you notice the browser source and my overlay image are in front of my two capture devices because I want it behind because if it ends up being in front it's gonna look a little bit weird I am perfectly positioned with those ones so it's okay <laughs> but it's kind of nice to have it behind because it kind of gives a little bit of depth to the to the image and, and the stream itself okay so that is pretty much it that's all it is this is my kitty and um yeah so next next up i'm going to go over the specifics of um the settings in particular for obs yeah this cat is all up in my business right now so we shall say goodbye and uh we'll see you in the next video bye oh you're so grumpy looking see you later can't make it pretty Make a mess.